Mrs. Paul, yes, mm -hmm. I know that uh, usually I don't like to bring out my anointing unless absolutely necessary, but I, I felt like Marilyn wasn't getting the support that she deserves. <laughs> you know, I opened this law dictionary and they have what's called the friend of the court, an amicus curiae, <laughs> someone not directly involved in a lawsuit who supplies information upon some matter of law upon which the court may be doubtful. <laughs> you know, I've seen these amicus briefs before yes all of those that are friends of the court now I'm just gonna need to know every amicus curiae of every brief filed from any person that thought they had something to say about the law now, I know, it seems very easy to understand that when you don't do what the law requires and you violate my constitutional right to due process, there could be a hundred thousand lawyers out there that thinks that they're friends of the court. <laughs> so I want every amicus brief and I want to know the actual identity of every attorney and any other person that ever found anything that thought they were friends of the court. I feel like my anointing is upon me today. It seems that attorneys, <coughs> lawyers, <coughs> in corporate America that thought they were friends of the court because of their amicus briefs and all the amicus curiae <laughs> that they filed when it involved anything involving the Constitution of the United States. <laughs> I want to know every brief and file of every person that thought they were a friend of any court in the United States. I want to know where they live at, <laughs> GPS location, email address, IP address. I want to know where they get their tax refund, okay? So for every attorney that thought that clones were the answer to this nation's problems, I just want to make absolutely sure that I find any clone or any other technology being used by any law firm in the United States of America. You're going to prison. I know, it seems like it's loud out here. <laughs> but I thought Marilyn needed more love. <laughs> she didn't need my sexuality. <laughs> she didn't need me to be her friend. <laughs> she needed my anointing. Now I'm going to want every amicus curiae of every friend of every court in America for the last 40 years. I'm going to want to know what firms they have represented and why they thought that the court should take into consideration what they have to say when it involved the enforcement of the law. Now I want to tell you something right now. Trying to take the the agape love of Christ Jesus from an American citizen because of the use of technology of those that just don't want to accept the real anointing of Jesus. I'm going to go through every friend of every court for the last 40 years. I'm going to find out who they are. And if they've committed any crimes, I'm going to put them in prison for as long as the law allows. Now, for every individual that thought cloning technology or anything else that has been researched and developed by those that are human beings or fish <laughs> was the answer to the world's problems, <laughs> give me every friend of every court and everything that's been filed because they thought the court should consider the amicus curiae.